now. While we edit. Don't you find it funny that um, you wake up one day and you just find yourself at school. You drink for it. So I had to burp. <laughs> but don't, don't burp like... Yeah, like yeah, yeah, sorry. Burp on the like, inside. You are the director, ne? <laughs> <laughs> you are this the is going to pick it up. Yeah. I'm good. <coughs> <coughs> let me not burp. Anyway, um, let me go at it. So, um, you wake up one day out of nowhere you're doing grade one. Um you are conscious here, yeah, but you don't really know how you got there. But because the system says your parents must take you there. Yeah. So here we are with the whole educational channel thing trying to push the whole education part of which we might ask your, we might ask ourselves, how did the whole thing even start though? You know? What is, like so now Okay, Sharp, just to fill everyone in what we're talking about. So, um, we tried to find a definition of the word school. Because we probably, whether you like school or not, whether you finish school or not in South Africa, we're all familiar with the word school. Whether you actually went to school or not, you would be familiar with the word school. Mm. It's been said that soccer is the universal language, but I think school should be the universal language. Oh, is it not English? That's no, the no, universal no, no. language. No, no, universal language, not in terms oh, of in terms of in terms like of something that we can relate specific. to all of us because not okay. all countries speak English. Okay. Yeah, because there are countries where English doesn't even exist at all. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 But somehow it is Soccer, so Soccer is the the one that brings us together. Um, yeah. Okay. Have you seen have you seen at some point uh you would find um haven't you haven't you like being on a cow train where you're sitting next to a Chinese guy and then you scoop on their screen and what they are texting, they are texting like actual Chinese. Like yeah. that, that language that we see that we can really interpret because it dominates in their language. Like for instance, I saw <laughs> even Rasaki's phone is on Swahili. <laughs> so like literally like WhatsApp is like written in like Swahili or yeah, like the should, dictionary. No, Google, I saw Google. I don't know about WhatsApp. <coughs> Probably WhatsApp you can control the language. So with WhatsApp, you probably write them very in his language. I saw on Google because I wanted to Google something from his phone. So he brought me his phone and then Swahili, Kiswahili. But then I agree Kiswahili is more like Zulu and a kind of vibe. Mm. And then I could like read it. Like, you know what? Here is the spot to type what I want to type. And then edge where they really delivered everything. But then the articles were like in English, but then the headlines to make oh. you relate. Yeah, but I was just trying okay, to Okay, like, so English is not a universal language. In other words... No, no. Like, like... English is the language we use as a media to can communicate as human species everywhere. Like it's that language. If you find a Chinese guy, you would, you would try to use English to reach to each other to understand. Because like at some point, I have to sort of my pride. If you are Kosa Amzonga, yeah. I have to find a way to, for us to can communicate. To communicate. Anyway. So uh, due to whatever we don't know, even if we know, I don't want to talk about it now, English became number one. But when you talk about universal language, it doesn't really have to be like spoken language. Okay. Yeah. So it's just something we can all relate to. Hence, I say school should have been some sort of universal language because there's a lot of schools. But did you not Everywhere. say soccer? Soccer is no the soccer. Soccer is the, an that, example. That's of what it said. That's what is that's that that's the definition. Let's let's check what is the universal language. Okay. According to okay you oh, oh no no let me let me check for you. That, I want you to save I want to, I want you to don't, don't okay. that definition okay. I want you to, let me search for you that one uh, I want the univers they call it the universal language because it's something which the whole world can relate to like even Americans as much as uh they have football and basketball but then they have like small and soccer going on there so they are they are familiar if you can see even rappers like Bass mm. he does you can find him wearing a t shirt of um. Like the, the yeah yeah of PSG Liverpool yeah he's, he's, no, he's a fo- he's a fan of PSG okay he would be wearing PSG all the time so my point being uh soccer they they call soccer as universal language because of that time remember 2010 World Cup mm. the way people were like jiggling and feeling yeah. and the way the country was so happy so to a point where people with with um who are speaking different languages they would meet up in the stadium but then communicate in one language which is them kicking the ball. Okay. Like, or whatever the sport is going on. I'm not, 
I don't, I don't want to embarrass myself by being not too much of a soccer person that much. Yeah, that time you're not like that. So what 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 did you say you were looking up the um, definition school, of, yeah, yeah, of uh, universal language? Univer- right? uh, no, yeah. I'm gonna check what is the universal language according to Google. But okay. then in the meantime, please define for me the word school. I just want us to understand why why do why 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 how did we actually find ourselves in grade one? Okay, the definition of a school is an organization. Okay, you know what? I definitely need to burp. <laughs> You can burp. But like it doesn't want to come out. So like oh, now it's like... It makes you too... too you have to frown. Eh? <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should drink water. It, <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let me try it. Should I get you a glass of water? Okay, so but now oh, in Zalanto, so we can continue. I don't have to get like caterpillar. Where we? Okay, so the definition of a school is an organization that provides instruction, such as number one, an institution for teaching of children, number two, college or university, number three, a group of scholars and teachers pursuing knowledge together that with similar groups constituted at a medieval university and then we have number four an in, an establishment offer, offering specialized instruction so basically the theme word i'm getting here is instruction and also the and theme word an is the institution yes it's an, it's an organization an institution. An and also the interesting part is okay this is according to Miriam Webster, like it's a thesaurus dictionary. It's a dictionary, yeah. So, the interesting term that I find from here is, um, like medieval university. Like, let me put it so in basically, context. Basically, according to Google, their their definition of school it's anything institutional organization like universities, public school, private schools, whatever, whatever where people govern in a group. But yes, you're correct. But my highlight for this is that in every definition that I've read, which gives an example of what the instruction is in terms of the institution, it gives you a definition of it being a medieval university. Now, when you look at what medieval means, it means relating to the Middle Ages. So it's something that is not advanced. School is not something that is new. But how did it become it, a world, a world, a world? Because now the reason why we here doing this podcast is because we want to help people who are at schools, right? Mm. But how did we? How do we even become like school? Why do we become pupils? Because cool, coolie doesn't have a choice. Yeah, you know, is five years old and then they paid fees for him and they wake him up six a.m. But doesn't even understand. He doesn't even have time to can wait to can wait where he grows up like a little bit. You know, he can make an option of which I doubt it. <laughs> no one would actually choose school had they had they find a way of matter. I understand the system. I understand the system. Yeah, Mara, I was about to say the yeah, system. I understand yeah. the system. But how did the system actually decide that? You know what? Let's call this thing school where people go there every morning. And knock off. <laughs> but did it not come from like I was in my mind the whole time I was thinking about Hitler. Hitler had like concentration concentration camps where he'd like he'd, they'd take all the male and the um, small boys. Usually it was the males, the ones who didn't have the noses which looked like this and the hair which looked like this. Then they would take them to the concentration camps and they would um, murder them in the end. Why? Because they didn't look like a typical German or a typical Jew would so, look. So they would determine them by, by their nose shapes. But how, yeah, by then, yeah. Are they? That's what they did. According to how your nose is and how your hair is. Uh, so if you <laughs> if you are blonde, if if you are blonde, they would say no. You deserve to go to this camp. So they 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 if train you. If, you. if you are an albino. I, I don't know. Was the, was the albino? Um, no, Angeli. No, in, in in Africa, people they believe people they kill albinos in Africa. Mm. So with them, now they are white albinos. Remember that guy on wrestling, Brock Lesnar. Okay. I don't. I don't know if I you remember know, the names. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, that's another thing. But uh, Brock Lesnar, he's a, he's an he's a he's a white albino. So they are white albino. Angeli albino, albinism in terms of like us as black people's race is just. 
lack of melanin. Yeah. So with them, because there's this saying of saying biologically, even a white person or the whitest person does have like a little bit percentages of melanin because mm. it's, that DNA, it's that DNA that protects them from the sun. So an albino is just uh, some sort of um, genetic disorder where the melanin pigment doesn't generate. It's lesser. Yeah. Okay. Because we have those people where they don't become completely albino, but maybe certain sports. So the percentage differs. So with the albino, maybe it could be less than 1%. Mm. Whereas maybe an average person like me, it could be 78% melanin on or whatever generated from my melanin pigment. That's what, if I still remember very well, it's something I've learned a long time ago. But um, in terms of uh, the nose, of the, the, yeah, the, the shapes was, of the nose, yeah. now, now that's not fair. I was drawing it back because that's what they did the, in Hitler's regime, like when he was like reigning. He would make people go to like, and he made it like they would even promote it, like the the leaders behind um with Hitler, they promote yeah. those concentration because it was called concentration camps. So they take you there and then they they chill with you, why, feed why you, would, water, why, water, why, water, then they gas you, then they in the end you die. So the same thing with school, yeah. like you go there, you learn, you learn, you learn, you know, then in the end somehow I, I want to look up I want to look up concentration school. But before I go there, okay. you were right by the way. I just googled uh, World Universal Language. It says English. But then I took this. I, I I never checked my facts. I just took it from when soccer, the time World Cup was playing, and then there was, someone said um, but it was a fact, and then it just stuck on my mind. And hence, I just always I've been embarrassing it's, myself the you, entire time. You, you, it, soccer could be as well. It's like also a way of communicating, but I it's think, an example I think, of. I think the, I think we can say soccer is the universal communication in terms of arts and sports and culture, mm. but in terms of spoke spoken language it's so actually a language is actually should be what we speak only or it doesn't matter the body language there's okay. different kinds okay yeah. <laughs> okay yeah so maybe so is the universal body language sports art whatever right english but anyway i wanted to check uh what are we talking about again i was talking about the concentration camps concentration in camps. hitler it was a germany yeah it was germany so they made people... There was even a movie, an interesting movie, actually. The boy in the striped pajamas. So I'm not going to explain what happens because, like, I'm bad at explaining. It was, well, it was well wrote too, ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, this is a history lesson, basically. Like, yeah. 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 So, yeah. I yeah. see. There's a lot of... Yeah, 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 I see. I'm not ready so to So basically, that's what I'm saying. Like, how I'm drawing it now to the to that is that... That's where they got not not exactly like they kill you like you die after you go to school, yeah. but that's where they got the idea that okay, let's take these people. So like those camps were the schools, not really the schools, but then because they'd make them do like hard labor, like they'd make them do some certain chores to help be- benefit the government and benefit the country. Then once they're done with them, they they they'd kill them, and then the next batch would move in. When they get old, they kill them because they get weak. Not old. Uh, not the old, even like young children, like every certain so, group. Okay, okay, uh, uh, it's fine. Let, let, but let then, me not ask you like about it's this. just, it's just yeah, giving I'll, you the I'll, example, I'll, I'll the, the framework up. of where but, some but it schooling was, it was comes where, from. It was where some people they believe they can put people in groups to can learn something, ne? But it wasn't because it, isn't it the thing is like they were trying to create a, a race that is of the same nature. But I've learned in my way, in my understanding. Okay, in your, we all have our own views of something. Mm. In my understanding, I believe school. It's not it. Or the, the way it's delivered. The way it's delivered, rather. Okay. It's, um, um, extem- extentiate, yeah. Uh, there's, there's these memes that are going around. They say, you can't test us on the same test. Like, you can't test... You can't define me to be human enough to by doing this. Like, if I'm a monkey, I can climb a tree... And then you are an elephant. Mm-hmm. I can't give you the same exam to climb a tree to prove to me how qualified you are to can do this. So that's why I'm like the way they design schools, like the system is yeah, only it's not, it's, a straightforward it's one way. Individualized, like according to your ability, let's test you there according to yours, like you know. Yeah. So this brings us to a point that probably, regardless of how it all went around, there's one group of people who designed one system. Or two, two, two or three different groups are accountable. Like for instance, in South Af- in South Africa, most of our textbooks they are printed in 
we are using uh, which curriculum Ghana is, is the American curriculum ne? yeah we are mara, mara, there are some people and... who go to Cambridge and what what so they are using the Europe London yeah, yeah like Zimbabwe Zim, Zimbabweans they are dope academically they go O and A yeah. after matric yeah, yeah they, they their, go their education system is so dope to a point where if you can check most people who are doing um tutorial classes or who are like doing those metric rewrites, it's mostly Zimbabweans. I don't know if okay. you've if realized. Have, 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 you, you wouldn't know what the metric rewrites because like you've never had to open like, ah, let me go rewrite. Because there's these colleges you find in town, either in Johannesburg Central, Pretoria Central, uh, each, each and every CPD, it is like a lot of, a whole lot of schools which they have <coughs> students who didn't do well the previous year to do better the following year. But Zimbabweans, uh, when they're home, after they do matric, according to how our standard is, they do O and A levels, which is equivalent to uh, London and... Yeah, the Europe, the yeah, European... Yeah, Cambridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now why, when they come to Pretoria or when they come to South Africa, now they can't cope anymore? They do cope. Academically, they, are, they, they just don't have um the, 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 the papers mostly like you find that someone is fully qualified but then because of the whole thing that's going on inflation whatsoever and then they cross over the border and if you make it successfully uh you would find <laughs> most of the colleges that are in cbds like i stated ghp uh, join spec cbd pretoria cbd it's few that are owned by south africans uh mostly it would be a nigerian guy who opens the school and then he, he employs zimbabweans to teach mm. Just like the very same way Chinese would open a restaurant and employ Zimbabweans to cook. And, and like Zimbabweans, they don't mind to do the hard labor mostly yeah. because it gets to a point where um, I, sh- I hope Operation Tutula doesn't see this as some promotion of anything because we're not being political. Okay. But then, uh, all in all, Zimbabweans, they are like, acad- like they are, I think they are good followers, in, if I can put it in my opinion. It means, because to be a good student, it means you can listen. If I can teach you something, you get 100%. It doesn't really mean you are smart. It means you are good at listening mm. and obeying exactly mm. how you were taught. Yeah, instruction. So, yeah, yeah. so that mm. skill gives Zimbabweans to be um, obedient wherever they go because they know how to follow instructions. So if someone teaches them how to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, they don't give it a thought. Yeah, how to, uh, what if it, it was, three. you know? Because yeah. if you check uh, big people like Einstein and Isaac Newton, they were not like um entirely like they were annoying to their teachers because they would question things so it seems like other countries because of corporal punishment you can just focus on i just want to understand this equation even if i know it's going to help me in anything in life or not Mm. and then if it gives you a chance you can cross over to another country and use it for something and then thank you but then there are some uh foreign zimbabweans who actually have proper um work work permits where big companies they are benefiting even more from them, but then uh, I'm not even gonna go the res- the restaurant side. Yeah, don't go there. I'm talking about like a big qualified someone, an engineer who had, who might be hired in this company, but then still, okay, not even remunerations or whatever they earn. I'm not even gonna go there. But my point is, they are more helping to that company to produce more profit with their scale because they are obe- they can obey if you can say today i want 20 li- 25 liters of paint that chemical engineer who's from zim can deliver that what but a south say? african south african engineer might know their rights to say ah dog that is abuse so all in all it's like we are in a point where we understand what our people or rather it's either we have more freedom not to obey because the three percent pass. All in all, um, it gets to a point where whether you like it or not, as much as uh, the way the system works, whether you want to work or you don't want to work, you need to eat. You got to make a plan. Whether you like it or not, for the first 12 years of your consciousness, because you don't go to school entirely when you are one year old. You mm. have to wait until you are five, five or six, until you still to, to be familiar with what's going on around. So for the first um, five years, 
for the first uh, 5 plus 12, which is 17. Yeah, yeah you roughly pass metric 17, 18 there, depending on how good or bad you are. <laughs> but mm. that's, the average, that's the average pass line. So for your first 17 years of your life, you just find yourself in the situation like, boom, my parents put me here and I have no choice. And now you have to make them proud, which is the hard part. But don't you think you become accustomed to your surroundings because you, I agree, but you have high friends within around your circle. Everybody's in the same situation of your age, like your peers and everything. So you become, mm. it becomes normal. Like it's not but, like but it's also, a bad thing. But also from where you're from, like your surroundings, like if you're from a home where um, they pay high fees, uh, you're obliged to be at home by seven o'clock sitting at the table studying because they don't want to waste the money. Mm. But if you are, if you are from the hood where you're going for to school for free and you look, you look, you look around everyone who went to school, you've seen them going to school. They're sitting by the corner drinking black. You don't see hopes as to why am I doing this? So you end up not being able to care. Like, should I? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. But anyway, you just think of it of like, um, I don't want to mention my cousins as such, much, but most of my cousins, even me, include, including even my sister and everyone at home, who were not really forced to finish school or whatever. Like I'm talking about metric standard. We were not really forced because... It wasn't a requirement. It was not really, yeah, yeah. Because for someone who has seen their parents making money through academics, they feel like, hey, dog, if I didn't do this, I'm not going to survive. Right? Mm-hmm. So uh, if you see your parents... They don't believe in school and your parents' parents didn't. And you have to wake up and it's, it gets cold in the morning. <laughs> and then there's some That's who cold. have to like travel over rivers and like, you know, yeah, walking with no shoes. You okay. understand? Okay, fine. Let's talk about something. Let's, <coughs> let's talk about it. Now that we don't know what school is, what a school is, um, what do you think it would take for someone to get own a school? Mm, obviously a qualification because nobody wants their child to go to a school where it's just like a fly by night. Yeah. So a qualification is important. Some people would prefer a structure to see their child going directly to a structure. Yeah. Like, you know, I think actually the previous generation, not the nineties, but the eighties would prefer that their children are in a, an establishment where you can see the the roof, the chairs, the tables. So so that's what you'd you need. Have, you have to be a certain age to can start a school. No, I mean like for in order for the implementation of a school to exist, the parent of the child who take the child to the school would want to see a normal structure built up because that is how they were. Yeah. yeah. You know? But what if I want to open a Sunday school? So is that Sunday school meaning like church, church school? What qualification do I need to open a Sunday school? I would need like accreditation in terms <laughs> of I'm able to do first aid. Okay. I'm able to in, teach in case, in case the children. Child, in, in case the child can collapse. So yeah, so. and yeah, you know, like those kind of things. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Did you go to Sunday school? N- no. I no. did. Okay. They didn't have uh, first aid. So when a p- child is busy eating paper, maybe because some of those children yeah, like to but, eat paper. But, but during my Sunday school days, my, they made sure, my Sunday school teachers made sure no one eats paper. Like, would listen to them teach us about the Bible, sing along, make songs. My, my Sunday school teacher was Makin Drove. She was dope. Like, she, she, she created a lot of, because she, she ended up later on opening a crutch without having a qualification. So now I mentioned two things. Sunday school, and a crutch, no qualification. How's but Kaluku, <laughs> we need to make a, the level up. Kaluku, as times go and time develops, yeah. Pella, you were probably there in the sixties. <laughs> Mina, <laughs> Mina, I'm talking about now. Oh my, two thousand. Everything. <laughs> times are going. Like you need to know but, how. To, if there's a fire, but, you but, need to but, know but, how but, to but, extinguish. But are you telling me that the Sunday school for today, like, cause? I don't want to go, like last time on the previous episode, I spoke a lot about Twitter and about people I don't know, and it's not fair because people, they come back, but then recently, we have a lot of 
Sunday schools and they still don't have uh, first aid. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. I, I'm aware of that. Okay. Like, because even oh, when I that, went to when oh, my so when you said first, aid, that's how you think that it, it should, should be. be. Okay, yes. okay, you okay. See understand, what I'm saying? It should be like that. Because no children need to die on yeah, your watch. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Because mm. because a lot of schools are big. Like I say, uh, in Central, uh, I can give you an example. I used to this other year, some of my friends were we supposed to parent. We were staying in a flat and we didn't, we didn't have jobs and money. So one one of our friends came up with a like, no man, people they are hiring there for teaching. As long as you know anything. So I went there and I got a job. And the job was to teach agriculture. Mm. Yeah. And they give you a textbook. Like as long as you can because they are Nigerians, as long as you can speak English. So three weeks, four weeks down the line, I, we we get like tweets and Facebook messages saying the school is not registered. But somehow, the people who were registered at the school, they did manage to get certificates at the end of the year. So, that guy was so smart. What he did is, he's a Nigerian. He doesn't have papers at all, or I don't even know if he has the proper passport whatsoever. And then he, he had a friend, probably a South African friend, who owns or who's responsible for a school. And then he gives them, he's give them this amount of money to can say, please register me to write with uh, the government from your school. I'm going to bring you 100 students and give you probably 100 students per student, but then my students are registered under your school. And then him, he takes them privately, he charges them money per month, and then he hires people like us to, t- to give them lessons. And then when it's during exams, he gives them letters. You must go to this school. Your, your exam table is at that school. And then you're gonna write from there. And then when exams come, when, when results come, they come out in the name of that school where he went to register his students from. That's dope, right? Does not have more sugar sugar in a nah, it, Well, but it's a school. He opened a school without a qualification. I understand. It. It. That's. I met. I met like that. What I'm telling you about it was 2012, 2013. I met the very same dude. Uh, sometime. Two or three, three weeks ago, he's still doing sa- the same thing. He even told me we moved from here to here. Don't you still want to come help me? <laughs> I was like, ah, nah. I'm a podcaster now. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, nah. <laughs> nah. I, okay. <laughs> And then I saw that guy, ah, dog, no. I'm fine now. I'll make other plans because they don't pay us. They wouldn't pay us enough, you know? Like, yeah. they would make you, when they get confessable, because people would resign because of being unfairly treated. Because, <coughs> sorry, excuse, um, what, what's, what's the word? Excuse you, bless you. Bless you, yeah. Excuse me, should be the same. Both, excuse you and bless you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, those guys, they get confessable because other kids who are not desperate of money, when they feel like they've been unfairly treated by um, such employees, because they are not so fair, because they are greedy, they don't know what's going to happen next month. Anytime p- police can pull up and say, hey dog, your school is not, reco- is not registered, hence they've when, when coming to payments every month, they are greedy, like, like they force those, they can even stop their kids from attending class. I'm not bad talking anyone in, a, mm. in, in some kind of way. I'm just trying to say you don't need a qualification as such. Or maybe not to open, but you can run a school. Yeah. Yeah. Initiation school. But like, like you need to, initiation school, initiation like you're saying, school. you need to be able to hold the utensils that are needed for the actual main event. Those madalas, those madalas in the mountains, what qualification do they have? No, but you need you need you need to have like that thing of to say first aid, like I was saying, first aid in case something goes wrong. Then yeah, but, you need but, to but how many cases to... how many cases do we get from initiation school where because they don't want any cameras there? I'm angry it's secrets that people are not supposed to see. But eventually some people when they get out they they're telling yeah, us. Yeah, I have I have a couple of friends who do tell. <laughs> they favor in Gwen <laughs> Because it's traumatizing. Those are trauma traumatic and, experiences. And, 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 like really i believe i believe i believe in 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 um freedom peace and just enjoy life why would you want to torture yourself 
to like and for cu- for culture like you said. That's why anything saying. anything with the name school on it, it's never nice. Yeah. Because why would you torture yourself to go to the bushes during winter? Because because yeah usually yeah, it's, it's in winter, winter yeah. because because you heal faster in winter right during winter you take you take a risk of your life for someone to cut you whatever they cut with a, with a, with a knife on the rock not okay they are trained because they do it over and over and over but then they are trained through practical work <laughs> no theory of knowing if if i cross over this vein this a, it doesn't matter but then how in your perfect sense as a parent you like uh, I want my child to suffer the way I suffered because we try we try to raise our children differently. I'm I'm, I'm not even against that. I'm ca- but that's your personal belief against it because there are people who have cultural, okay. traditionally more cultural and more okay, traditional yeah, than you. Yeah. But, but, also, that it but also, be. I'm just putting I'm just putting a light bulb out there to can say. As we develop as human species, we get to know more than our ancestor, our ancestors did. No disrespect to our ancestors, but then they didn't have an iPhone, for instance. If we can go back to 1999. But if you can go back to 1999 and explain to someone that there's going to be this phone where you're going to call someone from here and they are in America and yeah, you see them on the screen. Oh, they're going to say, I suga my daughter. When I say I suga it reminds me of something. <laughs> I like the little people. Midland. <laughs> So, yeah, so I, I, I was in Midrand and then I walked through. Let me Google it. I want to check the school if it exists for real. Talking about school. So I went through. I got a school. The name of the school is Midland Independent and High Primary School. I was like, oh, this one I'm writing it down. I don't want to forget it because, like, now let me check the school. Midland. Yeah. Midland. Midland, Midland for Midland, medium, like in between land, like medium, land. yeah, medium, and then medium. primary school. Yeah, the reason why it's funny to me is because I think I thought it was designed by a, I thought the school is owned by a Zulu person. He wanted to to pronounce Midland, but so I Mid, ah, uh, who Midland? This school is and then that's what I'm thinking of it. But that's funny, isn't it? Pri- mm, okay, if you feel like it is, then it is. Ha, but ha, that, that's ha. the <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I I. Okay, it, they they do have a website. Actually. Midland and pri- Midland Primary and High School, ne? Yeah, but that's such a, that's such a strange w- word, like like a strange way to put. I'm, like, I'm just tra- I'm just school. trying to say, Hori, a school is a school. Like I think we're living in a different world where people that don't even follow really how these things are done. You know, but then but the people who don't follow how things are done is homeschooling. And people like saying that homeschooling is not really like the way to go because people get socially d- d- disattached. Like the children, you're not teaching them how to be did involved you, did in you the get, environment. Did you, mid- uh, did you get Midland? Yeah, I hear you. I'm listening. Did yeah, I did, I did get Midland. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to talk about the pictures. Yeah, yeah I was looking at the pictures. That's yeah. why I was just like, but, like but you, but were saying, you, see, you see the efforts. Né? It's just someone yeah. getting a building, renting, putting things together. But look at the structure, like, you know, where I, according to how I got um, high school and primary school, I, I was like, we were on land, like, we were on a plot, we were on, like, we had land specifically designated to educating so that the child can with, be in a more with homely buildings and everything. Like, like, well, not like, build, not like buildings, like, like, next doggy. Check us next week. No, 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 no. I mean, like structures like of structure. classes. To go yeah, in. like structure. So you've never been, you've never learned under the tree before. No, that is not <laughs> something I'm accustomed to. No. So you learned under a tree. Yeah, on my early grades. Oh my god. Grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. So the school I was going to, it was uh, again I went to Tulamahaji Primary School, and then I went to like the Tulamahaji Primary School. Then the Zuid they are attached, but the other one's grade one to grade four. The other one is from grade three to grade. Seven, and then when you go to grade eight, you go which high school you wanna go mm. to. So there's three different high schools, but then parents they target the cheaper one, which is. But then the cheaper school is the problem because it's the one that has more students and less classes. So the seniors they were the ones who would use the classes, and then one teacher if they're supposed to use the class together would take us under the tree. It was cool. I enjoyed it. For me, it never looked like poverty because I felt like the class is prison. So when we were out under the tree, yeah, you were free. Yeah, I was free. Like I enjoyed it, Mara. If you look at it, 
in an from, eye yeah. from someone who went to a public school. It's gonna be like, like in when I was in primary school, I would even wish like, when are we going out to talk, to study? Because, but then, <laughs> but then, uh, some people they believe because uh, we have we have we have um, marula trees in Bushbuck Ridge. So some people they believe some people they believe if a marula tree can hit you directly on your head if a, if a, if you are sitting fruits, under a marula tree yeah. and the fruit during the season because the fruit is between January and March roughly and that's when schools reopen so if a marula tree can fall and hit you on the head it means me a lawyer again that was the belief so did it hit you both? no it never okay cool. right now <laughs> <laughs> well and it, and it did and it did as well so it's okay. <laughs> here it's run away from what <laughs> <coughs> from you, <Ubuloy. coughs> yeah, from Ubuloy. So you were, gonna, this you, were gonna, you were not gonna co host, does not exist anymore. <laughs> oh no, it never fell on me. I think I did fell on me, I was gonna die, but I've never really seen it fall on no one. But I'm just thinking, but it's during, also during, during that season, during that season, during that season, it was where the prom would be like, Hey, when you're sitting under the tree, those things they fall anyway. Mara, mm. because most of the trees that would be around it would be cut kind of trees, but I did experience landing under the tree. Okay. And and with personally, and I enjoyed it. That's not so bad because, but the way the way people look at, make it look in documentaries or yeah. like what what they make it look like learning under a tree is the worst experience. But here you are saying that you wanted fresh air, like you wanted to sit under the tree because that was the best, <laughs> you know. So those children probably they don't see it like that. It's normal for you guys. That's what. But that's, you know, that's, we look that's, at it like that's, that's, you. That, that's how it is. That's how it is. My girlfriend was telling me, "Hurry, she used to wish to be on a taxi." Because they always drove here wherever she want to be, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I like that. Do you know? What, <coughs> do you know what people as as whose parents never had cars, who were wishing? I wish I never used. Because as as a boy, if you, you do do you listen to Trevor Noah's jokes, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a joke he made about it takes sitting at the back. We we relate more to that joke because we've experienced that where they, they, the the taxi is full now because you are young, you have to sit. On any available spot, but mm. even now it happens where even if you are not young or whatever, when you when during in the morning when you have to drive to work, and the taxi is full and you know I don't care it's five minutes I'm gonna fight with my boss if I don't go in because you know, being late, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> another thing, another, another topic for another day. day. Yeah. <laughs> but my point is, I'm like people who are like having it good, they feel like the other side is fun. Like yeah. I can imagine, I can imagine if we look at Marlboro, that division between um, Sentin, Alex, Alex and, yeah. and uh, I can picture those kids from playing PlayStation, looking over the window because it's just a fine line, and then looking at other kids playing soccer that is not real soccer made of plastics on the other side of the street. Be like, oh shit, that must be fun. Mm. That's how it is mostly, <laughs> and hence, 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 regardless of. Like, like I said, you can you can you can dream of becoming an accountant, physician, physicist, whatever. But once you are inside, you are like I. Either way, like maybe that one is better. Hence, crossing over, which is the reason why this is the platform, guys, to help people to cross over. If you feel like your career that you're not doing is fine, you can hit us on our email. I'm gonna put it there. We have subject we have subject matter aspects. In all different fields to can help people to can say okay to move from here this is what you have to do this is what you have to do this is what you have to register this is the qualification that you need not necessarily a university, a university qualification because i'm still coming to that i feel okay. like i'm getting more comfortable now but like like you were saying before you mentioned the email address and everything yeah they were saying that who j cole said there's no such thing as a life that is better than yours so you strive your girlfriend was saying she strived to be in a taxi and i'm sure since I climb a taxi, I know how a taxi is. Now I'm just like, is this a taxi? Is this what it is? Now I want to go back to that luxury of being... Yeah, like, you know what? I don't really want... <laughs> again, yeah. again yeah. even if you can reverse the situation, that very same boy from Alex, you move him from the street where he was playing that soccer on the street and then you take him to that house with PlayStation and shit and they lock him inside. They're like, Lantling is Pumbang was getting six. And they start playing five o'clock. Mm. Then you be like, I this place is not cool. I miss my home. I understand I'm here. I ate a tralala. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I need to go play, you understand? So 
hence they say we shouldn't feel comfortable in our comfort zones like you must always strive because as much as you don't choose to be born why not just experience every good time you can so if both people they were to spice everything up you can say even if you are from Amarana, others that they are, dis- they are disadvantaged in a way they can't do much you see the ones from the, the advanced ones they are the ones who can like blend it up and live the way they want but if you don't have anything you don't have anything yeah, that's true. But yeah. at the same time, the arts, I think there are always like initiatives that are trying to reach out to these areas to try and empower, whether they bring them water or whether they bring them like um, means to try and uplift them books and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just the attitude maybe of the person who is in that situation. Maybe I'm speaking from outside in yeah. or maybe it's because of the fact that they, they're not empowered in their minds, like with regards to getting education or because because a... because also you don't you don't see w- why am i doing this because you're there in alex surrounded by me cuckoos everywhere you go to school without food you come back there's still but no food you have a hope you see so every morning when you wake up you see certain there certain buildings like and you're like Ish, if i can stay there you like, have you to, understand? okay you're gonna you hope have a hope for 17 years yeah, look, obviously, then that, that's what I'm saying. That's the education. Eventually, that's, yeah, that's... yeah. So I would, I would think it like, it's more or less, it's more or less not fair to a point where you're like, you feel like, why am I doing this anyway? Whereas if you see your parents are doing very great, you're like, oh, well, let me just do this because I know, or, or, or sometimes you even know you have a spot of where to go. Like, I'm not, I'm not hating on anyone who's there already because okay. even... Even those parents who are staying who are staying in Alex for these kids, they had the same opportunities or not, who might not know. Mm. But there are some still who come out from the let me not exclude that. There are some who come out from that Alex and still go to Sentin. But it's a handful of people. Majority will look at like I'm talking about the cast that I'm familiar with in Mamilori where I'm always at. Uh, everyone who went to school during the times I was going to school they are chilling now, just chilling. Like, I, if not chilling, but then working, Mara working, and average, like some. I'm not saying, I'm not doing anything as well. And I'm trying to do something by doing this. But uh, all in all, I'm trying to say, there's no, there's no hope of saying, why am I doing this anyway? Because you, don't, you might even think, ah, dog, maybe you try to apply a tax. They tell you, engineering, first year, we need. Um, X amount of marks, 50 50k upcomments. without dress. What, what, B- besides the marks, the marks, no. even if you okay, if you can know, I, I can, I can study for this thing, you would put more energy probably to study because okay. there, there are some people who have, there are two or three people who get um, accepted at tax, and most of them they start go Mamiluri campus fairly because they call them the advantage students because of the area where they are at, like I say, because of the whole. You can't compare the fees from there and the fees from them are all right the same exam paper year grade twelve mm. that is printed by the government. But then it doesn't matter how the um teachings or lessons were delivered or some when it were not delivered at all. So they are these days we live in a world where we have the internet and kids are able to go online and not depend on um entirely how the school is shaped. Okay. And get lessons from online. Because uh, an average an average uh, private school now in Pretoria, which is fully registered, I'm not talking about those jo- dojo ones mm. that I've been trying to mention. A proper, I'm going to talk about that one where you pass, you find those kids wearing red, red uniform. Per month, they pay roughly how much? 2.8? I'm not too sure. Do yeah, they, do they pay I was, I was, I was trying to check their approach. Uh, I, 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 this one I'm, here, yeah, the the one, the one, yeah, I'm not ready to Google the whole thing, but I, I know, not not recently. I'm talking about something which I know way back then when I was because I know someone mm-hmm. was going to that school, unless because of vanity. It's probably more, more now. More, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now it's probably a lot. But then, uh, you pay that money, you still have the responses of your child concentrating concentrating in class <coughs> because modules are being delivered in different forms, mm. and that's not how they should be. In, preferring how to learn but then they are forced to learn so because your parents paid fees and if your parents spent an amount of 5k if, if imagine i uh, as a, i could be a father to someone and i'm spending 5k a month and you fail like we're gonna fight so i'm gonna force you i have to lock you inside to force to pass 
But that shouldn't be the, like, the mentality. Like, failing shouldn't be, like, the end of the world. Like, if I fail, allow me to fail because I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Even in life, you fail. Yeah. Like I, was just, I was just checking if, if it's recording. Okay, yeah. it is, ne? Yeah. In life, you fail. Like, there's many things you fail at in life. So why must I pass when I'm, like, a teenager who has my hormonal brain? <laughs> and then I can, ex- then all of a sudden, when I'm older, when I'm supposed to be making mistakes, now all of a sudden I can't make mistakes. You're building a character of a child to think that failing is a wrong thing. And failing is part of life. Everybody needs to make mistakes. So now, because I'm paying 5K, you can't fail. And it shouldn't be about the money. Now, hence, I'm like every school now that's where money comes in back to my initiation school topic initiation school can be done both in hospitals and in initiation schools but people who go to initiation school they pay they pay lesser fee people who go to hospitals they pay lesser fee than people who go to initiation schools initiation school what this is what i've learned from initiation schools number one there's a fee of like around 5k that was back then and 5k was like thousands thousands and thousands and thousands and, thousands and millions of friends during the currency that were the mm. time the time I was, I was familiarized with it number two when you come out yeah they must buy your blankets now you move to your own room they now respect you you are a man and most of the people that i know i'm not trying to generalize but then uh the ones from the hospitals they come up to be better kids in future than the ones that actually took that I'm a man in there thing because now we end up impregnating someone early, early teenage pregnant is, is motivated by such of which I don't want to argue that because I'm going to fight with the people who believes in the tradition I'm not ready to talk about this one okay. but I'm not going to cancel it I stand my weight I feel like we should sometimes learn to develop yes and we don't necessarily have to follow the new way of living according to maybe the white supremacist or white people live but also ourselves as black we must also respect ourselves that the way my ancestor thought 100 years ago with the knowledge that i have i would teach something to my ancestor if he was to come now with what i know now so i don't necessarily have to respect and learn by that i can learn is it is it is it i can learn is it is it is it the rhymes <laughs> i know mine yeah eh manyika manyika ebo ko ma chava ku pap okay ngwe shifa ke shimile ndleli na like that like that so we can learn such things and keep them up to our children but then we don't necessarily have to do the very same decisions as the way they did kaloko so you don't lose like tradition because there are other children out there who don't believe that same way do you think so do you, you think don't want... do you think in 100 years from now people will still go to initiation school <coughs> Yeah. But because of the name school, now it becomes more expensive than the one that is not school, but then they are both doing the same thing. Hence they are both cutting four skins of 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 of, of the genitals. But the other ones like a, a doctor, a mere doctor now to can I don't now I don't know now, but I, I think it's roughly less than 1.5. But now for sh- I, I I I don't even want to google it because I, initiation schools they can't be on Google anyway because they don't want to be seen so you can track <laughs> if they're on google they are they are they are not they are, they are fake i'm sure they they could be like articles from like those those gen- yeah. journalists who are trying to penetrate into their but even here's something from the government like there's an article where can i find a registered initiation school oh so there is in crisis yeah is it's, 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 a, it's actually a thing oh. but they now here when i search down further it gives you news 24 Parents fear COVID-19 as initiation schools open this winter. You know, it's mainly articles so, compared to the so actual there information. Are some, there are some that are accredited. There are some that are not. Mm. Just like with schools. There are schools that are accredited. Mm. There are some that are not. Because then it's customary yeah. law and, 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 and when you pass metric, you don't even know how to use internet because I've seen a lot of met- metric students so like they pass, they don't even know how to use internet to can check if a school is registered But the thing not. is, the, the children aren't the ones who are checking for themselves. The parents are the, the ones and who the parents are going to go parents, with what you want, <laughs> no ban, ban, no trust ban, me, ban, go Trust with. me, there are parents who ask their children how something is done because they feel, because I never made it to grade 11, but my children did they children get to decide a lot of things because they but, achieve something better than they did. Okay, I hear you, ne? But in a traditional setting, in a place where, it's, for example, I don't know, it doesn't... Okay, let me make an example with Eastern Cape. So, like, in an, in, in, in an environment with Eastern Cape, where you as the father knew that 
your friend's son went to that initiation school and he came out fine whether it's registered or not i don't think i don't think that is the looking uh, we look at whether it's registered or what we look at the fact that my the, the son came out fine so we're taking the one or so the first one was the, the, the first one the, the first family, one the first one, that one the first one is an experiment <laughs> so if the first one survived I a- actually agree. everyone who goes there is every day an experiment <laughs> until the one is not fine like i asile up <laughs> Nobody looks at like okay. Let me Google. Is uh, but okay, now, school now, now, registered? Now, now. Like no. Now we in don't terms do of that. in terms of modern schools, how do we then how do we then decide which one to go to and which, which one, one to go to, to which one not to go to? With modern schools, I think like it's a matter of the excellence, the, like the pass rate, for example, the excellence to say that the students. With the this student when he went to the school he came out like this this is a scientist NASA Elon Musk kind of vibes you know what I'm saying you look at the results of children who come from that school with modern schools with schools I say it guys you whatever I think it's just a matter of which one is more affordable now I now that we know already or I know that we know how do we help children from Ekasi to come back to compete with anybody else because I'm from Ekasi myself and I'm like what should I do to come up with a way to can say hey people from Ekasi let's be woke let's do this let's learn because now we have the internet but then yeah. there are still people who are not familiar in how to use the internet to learn I feel like I went to at some stage I went to Ekasi slash modern school name mm. So that school, I'm not going to mention names because like it's going to like, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. So that school had a mix of people from my melody and it had people from Silverton, Pretoria East. Like it had a mix of everybody. Mm. So what they do is that in terms of that structure, they made extracurricular activities compulsory. So like if what? you wanted to do like soccer, what? okay, if you, you can choose which one you want to do. If you want to do soccer, if you want to do knitting if you want to do painting whatever oh, you can so, choose which so one to they do they didn't have just sports they have sports and art and other and, yeah uh, other that's what i'm saying extracurricular activity something to keep you busy after school so you must say you must um comply to that and and attend that um that that extracurricular activity otherwise if you don't attend you get detention and in detention you write out the dictionary word for word name and definition name and definition so the same kind of structure it doesn't have to be the same kind of structure vele vele like that because that's school vele vele i understand it was strict our but intention was to call the parents no but then yeah. at least at least you're learning you see at least you're learning because now that's how sometimes i also know the dictionary because now i'm going to it detention but you know your detention was beneficial exactly that's how it should be instead <laughs> of like more call the parents i'll want more detention so i can learn more nah, english you can't just call the parents and then expect that everything will be fine you know yeah. so the main part of the whole thing was to say come to school yes it's a chance one o'clock one one o'clock is end of school but for an hour just an hour within a day and you know enjoy boys enjoy soccer so it ends up becoming four o'clock five o'clock so which keeps you away from drugs going after school because you'll be tired more than the soccer you can't yeah. be like yo let me go get a fix yeah. you know yeah so well, uh, those kind of things extracurricular activities programs that are designed to support the child tv after school tv saved me from all those naughty things during my age but let me pin that for another conversation can we pin this now can we pin can we pin so when uh, what sport did you choose which sport did i choose ish okay when i was in grade seven or like primary school i did netball that wasn't by choice because i was also forced because all the girls had to do netball and then in high school I did mostly art, like like the school I was talking about earlier on before where they forced us. Yeah. Um, I did art, art projects. And then later in high school, I just like, I left it. Like I wasn't mm. trying to do anything. So yeah. what did you do? Nothing. Oh my gosh. I have a whole history <laughs> and you like nothing. I didn't do anything. Oh I, I couldn't do sports because we didn't have like that support. You know, 
my entire life of going to school, school only makes sense to me when I made when I was in grade twelve. Before that, I didn't even know why I was doing this. Like I say, and when I started the program, that um, you just wake up one day, you're in grade one. They make you scuff teen, which I would finish on the way before I even get to school. <laughs> and I get hungry. Yeah. So I where did you <laughs> eat to get? Uh, Your friends. I was fortunate. Teens. Yeah, I was fortunate. I, I, besides, not my <coughs> friends' scuff teens as such. Like, like, I would have like small and a lunch money for sweets and juice and a proper scuff teen for in case. I want proper meals, so I would like eat my scuff tea because I've been eating a lot ever since I was a child. Nothing, I think. I think some. Hence they say, don't don't let the child in you die. Oh my god! I still eat. The, I still eat the very same way as I did when I was young. So I would I would like eat my scuff tea and then later on, and sometimes I would make a deal with someone like Joe. I think copy is a dog, because the way those people didn't understand it. Like I was not a good student as such, but I would understand the basics. So I'd be like, hey dog, I would make a deal. Like if I help you with this. Cause, cause, you know, kids from fancy families they didn't like to eat their scuff teens. Why? Uh, they are food. They have that food all the time. For them, it's nothing. So for when I wanna, like that juice one. On a level, but, yeah. But no, my mom will hate me if she can hear me talk like this. No, my scuff teen was not that bad. Also, it was average, but it never. It never was on. It that never was level. on that level. But then it had polony, margarine, at least you know, like those basic. Okay, the basics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not take it. So why point. did you feel like um, matric during matric? That's when you realized the benefits of school because you're yeah, saying that. That's what I'm saying. So during matric, that's when we started to know what's happening. What, what's happening? Because now, the teachers they were trying to market to us what happens after. So they were. They were telling us, you know, if you, <laughs> you know that saying, I, I saw, I also saw a tweet this other time, that tweet, that guy was saying, uh, they promised us the companies are going to fight for us. Mm. <laughs> so during your, during our exam, our principal would say, you know, God, we, had, we, we used to have this, he died, he died now, rest in peace. So he would say, exam is around the corner and people imitate him because of the way he speaks. Like his voice was so tiny. I almost, <laughs> I'm not the one who's. <laughs> but here you are imitating him. No, I almost did because I wanted to, like now I'm being, I'm being visual. I wanted you to get the picture of, but it's fine. So the guy who would remind us the exam is around the corner and then would motivate us on saying, if you pass, it's for your own good. Companies will run looking for you. Mm. So you have to pass. I didn't pass so well myself personally. I tried. I think the, pers- the person who passed probably Betangana is the guy who's doing tutorials, Simpiwe. So I personally uh, find a find a, but then at least I'm, I can like try to talk and some like trying to, but other than that, uh, I didn't see hope of where am I going to get the school fees if I pass metric anyway, mm. you know. So I'm not motivated. I'm not motivated because my mom can't afford the school fees. The only way I can go to school is for me to go look for a job and pay for myself. I'm like, I, I'm not willing to do that. But also, the time I did find a job, school was the last thing I wanted to pay anyway. So I'm like, I get money now. But anyway, long story short is, uh, it took me my 17 <laughs> years. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Bless you. Okay. It, it, I know. <laughs> It took me my 17 years to understand why are we even going to school, of which even now I don't really feel it's anything I wanted. But it happens anyway, and mm. we have to impress our parents. So me saying this all in all, actually, it leads me or oh, coming up with the whole school thing, school that, because as much as we don't choose to be at school anymore, let's just beat the system by passing. And if you want to pass, it's either you book a home tutorial. And we have tutorials everywhere. Like, <laughs> uh, Chinese, they hire a lot of South Africans to teach mathematics and English in China. Mm. Because apparently South Africans, they have better accent. Because as we, we, we talk weight by weight to weight, we don't, we don't flow like, <laughs> or you can like, mm. you know. I'm not trying to monk other people's accent and accent is an accent anyway because I'm the last person who can be racist or tribalist because I'm a Tsonga anyway. So I'm at, the, I'm at the bottom. So I have all the rights to can speak whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. So 
if it is said by me that accent is accent that it doesn't really matter. So even whether you're saying ho ho ho, you don't have to feel offended because it's said by a Tsonga guy who's in South Africa. Mm. And in South Africa, our mathematics is rated below most of the times. But I'm so wondering, like, how come that guy delivers it better than because, like, I feel like we even have, like, international countries viewing that guy's um, teachings. And then what does it mean? Everyone these days, they go to YouTube. Even Americans, talk, there was an article that was saying Americans, they use Africans to learn. Mm. Like, literally, they use Africans to get, like, qualified. They pay them in dollars to write their exams. Not because they can't, but because of time. Ability. Yeah. yeah. Not ability as such, even. Like, they might have the ability the for ability you to make the for course. you to have time. Oh, oh, okay. You yeah. understand? If you say it like that, yeah. Uh. Because... Most of the times, uh, UNISA students, most of them are employed, but they are willing to pay someone to help them understand a module three days before exams. Okay. Yeah. So, you find that someone will be like, hey, I didn't have the time to write the entire semester, and then I'm willing to... But either than that, whether you go to a private school or you go to a private school, our ways of understanding is not the same. And if you wanna get yourself a private tutorial, guys, I'm gonna tell you now. It's a good thing. I support that. And let me give you a price of a private because we're trying to help. We're trying to help everyone not to get stuck on the system by saying, "Hey, I've been failed." What What is the average tutorial? How much is an average? Let's say, grade twelve mathematics, babe. Um, I don't know. Shouldn't it be like forty percent now because it's probably dropped? No, but not the pass mark. Oh, okay. I'm talking about how much are they charging private tutorials to teach them at home for you not to achieve oh. thirty three point three percent, but to get at least something h- above seventy percent. I'm trying to. Look, I'm trying. I'm trying to Google. Are you it. trying to? Okay, uh, let me also Google it. I'm let me not guess. I, I don't expect you to know that. I mean, why? Yeah. Would why would I? <laughs> why would I need to know that? You know? But yeah, okay, let's look at it. Unless you are a tutor, you didn't know that. You didn't tell us that. Are you? Uh, okay. Average. So are you? Pa- are you part of the? I'm part of the. I'm part of the. Even here. Is it homeschooling? Average price homeschooling. for homeschooling. Yeah. Or just average tutoring. Private tutoring. For tutoring. Okay. Yeah. But then we saw one today. So what was done? They didn't put they a didn't price. Put it a was price, just a number. Yeah. yeah. But it just so depends on the. <coughs> it's for Sorry. me. Excuse me. Um, private tutor rates, which says uh, between 180 and 200 rand per hour. So it depends, actually, because some it's people can do it for less. Yeah, yeah, people can do it for less. And since, since because because there is no way I plan the whole um, episode to go like this because they gave me I took a marketing job from Simplified. <laughs> So I have two jobs now. You go, guy. Yeah, I have two hey. jobs now. So I'm promoting, I'm promoting, I'm promoting a different kind of learning. Okay, so you're promoting pri- private tutoring, but online yeah. or home if you tutoring? say if you say if you say to me a private tutoring here, it says it's two hundred rands, two hundred rands an hour. So it's one fifty to two hundred rands an hour. Let's put it okay. Let's put it in minimum one hundred and fifty an hour. Mm. So a private a private home tutor. They come to your house to teach your kid on either weekly basis or twice a twice a week. You can choose, mm. but uh, according to here, they charge uh, two hundred. No, two hundred is it's it's it's, it's between, and it could be more depending on how you market your thing. So I'm like now with my new job now because I'm promoting because being a salesman it's hard and I have to make people that this product is better than that. I'm not trying to be funny or to be like hating on private tutorials, which I support. I used to be a tutor myself the time I was teaching agriculture in that school. I told you about the one that was not registered. Mm. So um, now, if you were to take two hours, two hours would be 300 rands. Minimum, if if the minimum is 150, two hours would be 200 rands. Okay. 300 now, I mean. 
three. Yeah, Sorry, so I, 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 I'm not a mathematician. It's, um, it's I don't do. So per hour, let's say we go one hour to make it break it down to make it simpler to make it simplified. Okay. One <laughs> <laughs> one hour. Yeah. How much would one hour be if you like your rates are like? Yeah, like I say, if I was to go to take private tuition to make myself cheaper, I would say instead of one fifty, let me charge hundred rand. Hundred rand per hour. Per hour. Okay. And then if I charge hundred per hour, it means so, two hours would be two hundred rand. How much would be a month? So how many days in a month as well are you deciding to? Uh, uh, it depends on the comfortability. Remember, if you are private, if you are private tutoring. Or if you are a home private tutor, it depends on the amount of the hours your students are free also. So you can design whatever time to wait. So it can be maybe like three weekends in a month or twice or thrice or four, four five times a month. Yeah. Depending personally, on how you are. Personally, want. personally, I'll try to put as, to hoi as many days as I can to accumulate more money. So if I charge 100 rands per an hour, I would say every day I want eight hours. So I have 800 rand, so I make it every day. So would this then be homeschooling, like private tutoring, like the you're thing, gonna come? The thing, the thing with ho- the thing with homeschooling, uh, after lockdown, we've learned that um, a lot of things can be done without having to go to anyone's schools, and we've we've seen a lot of people teaching people things online. Hence, uh, as part of as part of as part of people who are in the marketing field of the simplified part. Uh, I mean, the the way Simpu is doing it is the same. Everyone is doing it intentionally to, to teach online, right? But then now, Simplified is providing us with a new way of learning. Okay, so, so that's when. Uh, so that's when you. So yeah, yeah. What does that mean? What new Bafundi way is that? Na, Bafundi na batlan. If you feel um, it was hard the entire time, there's a way now. There's an online school. Dun, 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 dun. So an online school, it works. I'm trying to go back to that information that I had before I miss okay. it. <coughs> so simplified. It, excuse, excuse you now. I'm excused. Thank bless you. you. I'm bless you. Excuse so me. simplified school, it's because previously we used to do home tutorings. Yeah, there was only one person who was doing it. It was either home. C- Home tutorials they were done differently where it's either you would go to the or would go to the person's place or the person come to our place. Not me, like the entire uh, I'm reading this one out. So we would do um private tutorials where we would go to your place or you would come to our place. But then now here comes a new way of learning where how about on the comfort of your home whereby an hour of tutorial it's hundred and fifty per hour. It's hundred and fifty per hour. Imagine a world where you would pay four hundred and fifty. I don't mean, know how to believe on my side. Four hundred and fifty <laughs> for twelve hours. In a day. In a month. In a month. Yeah. Okay. In a month. Cool. Four hundred and fifty so hours. So here it goes. Um, the classes go for four hundred and fifty rands. I'm reading it. I'm reading it wrong. I'm reading it. I'm reading it wrong. Okay. Four four hundred and fifty rands for twelve hours per month. Whereby, whereas three hours per day is four hundred and fifty. In average, if you count one hour, hundred and fifty. Two hour, hundred and fifty. Three hundred. Three hour, hundred and fifty. Four fifty. Mm. So. So it's basically less than generally guys uh please support my hustle man as a promoter because every student that registered even us here we get something like nyara to build even more of what we're building right so here are the prices um for everything so um we are offering i'm still reading out loud okay we are offering uh High school modules, so high school, I think it's from grade 8 to grade 12, okay. according to the way they put it. Yeah. So high school modules are mainly mathematics, physics, accounting, economics, um, and mathematics literature. If you want to inquire about more, you can drop us an email. Uh, we'll drop the email here, simplifiedforreal at gmail.com. 
Uh, I don't even know why I was using a Gmail account, but then anyway, we'll take it from there with the uh, executives. Mm. <laughs> because anyway, so yeah, that was the high school part. And then we also offer university modules, university modules mainly, the okay, the one focused, the focused area, the ones that we could, we could achieve in getting the course, it was UNISA modules. So UNISA modules also in different faculties, but then mainly uh economic and management sciences faculty uh science engineering and technology faculty um with you humi- with humanities and law it's a bit tricky from now because you're still getting more and more facilitators on that field according yeah. to what they're saying here okay. because unless your number is it has i mean i mean unless your modules it has numbers related if it's accounting if so if you are doing a law qualification and we have accounting. accounting. So here's the codes for the modules that are listed here, which we can help with. Even on a day before exam, like you can just inquire with us if we have it last then because sometimes we uh we get to get full classes uh during exam October, November or May, June, where we can do um roughly fourteen hours. Is it foot yeah, eighteen hours? Fourteen, yeah. Foot No, 12 hours is for the month. Okay. The revision, no, it's not for, it's actually eight. It's just these times and times they put you there. So I'm messing up with my eyes. I think my eyesight is starting to fail me, but then it's fine. Okay. So, uh, eight hours for a day revision class for UNISA modules. Mm-hmm. That include DSC, ECS. Those are the codes. Um, MAT, STA, this so are these all your modules, your I'm modules. I'm sorry. Now there are semester, there are semester first modules, there are semester modules. But then the lessons are given on monthly, on chapter and chapter and chapter and chapter basis, according to the way they put it. I'll be putting the prices here every now and then just to flash them according to the way the plan should be, because that's my job. And I'm I'm, I'm out there in the street giving away pamphlets fairly lately, okay. because because uh, like I say, it benefits me and it benefits um, this channel. So I'm thankful. I'm, I'm so thankful for the opportunity to can be promoting and pushing this. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, uh, we're not just limited to UNISA modules according to the way the article still continues. Uh, st- statistics in UNISA first year is the same statistics at UJ first year. What about UP? Do you do UP? Whether it's UP, whether it's VET, and whether uh, it's UCT. But if you check, UCT, UP students mostly it's few percentage that actually needs help. Okay. Yeah. You need so you're targeting those I'm targeting the ones. Remember, are... remember, simplified is not for, it, it's not meant for, advanced. Yeah. According to the way it was okay. explained to me. So it meant, it's meant for struggling students. Okay. Yeah. So anyone who's struggling, that's, that's where the shell is about. So sometimes, even if I, we never mentioned what you're struggling from, drop the email, Tell us what you think. Do we have or we do not have? Because I might not be presenting it proper. Because also me, this article it was sent to me by someone. But then, if you feel you might need uh, help in this and that, as long as it's academically related, and it is a bit of numbers, maybe here and there for now yeah. to be confident. But then, um, there's a lot of like I feel like modules they connect somehow. Mm. So if someone can do it, or we can find someone, as long as it's a subject matter aspect on that field. Feel free to inquire on our email if we do offer that. But here is our prices here for all the classes we offer for online tutorials on the comfort of your home through Zoom meetings where you just decide. So they go like this, the classes. On Monday to Friday, classes will be going from 5 o'clock until 9 o'clock. So you will choose a timetable which day is perfect for you. And Saturdays, I think they will go from nine o'clock in the morning until six o'clock no in it's the not evening. it's not 18 it's zero eight until eight o'clock eight o'clock i'm okay. not sure yeah but i've from here let me zoom it yeah, it's a feeling, yeah. yeah it's eight o'clock okay so yeah. nine till eight o'clock nine till eight o'clock okay but then it doesn't matter i feel like whenever you <laughs> register you'll be Excuse, excuse you. 
Excuse me. I feel like whenever you reduce, I will be given a slot on when it could be perfect by then. So mm. that was me promoting uh, my job in the field of where uh, I belong because like now I'm the marketer and the podcast, the broadcaster of the whole school thing. So like I said previously on the episode, there's me, there's Tia, there's Simpiwe. The fourth person is, who was the first? I forgot the name. Baka. Baka, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Baka, or oh, whoever the name will be, or oh, that's the nickname. I don't Let's know, see. cause yeah, that's the that, that's the name that comes. <coughs> I don't know if it's a nickname or a true name. That's the nickname that come by from yeah. now. But there are a couple of subject matter aspects who are willing to help everyone out there, to cause like now, it you can't pay for a module, and you're supposed to pass that module in order for the module to unlock the other module the following semester yeah. for you probably to want to finish your qualification in at record time and then you find yourself stuck so here we are we're like saying we're not coming to your home so you can feel safe no sanit- no sanitizers involved we're not charging you 150 per hour no for 450 per an hour if you're a matriculant if you're in grade 11 if you're in grade 10 if you're in grade 7 or grade 8 it gets you to can have an online class at the comfort of your home at the time of your own choice at these prices that I'm putting up here. And if you're a university student, also here are the prices. And then uh, the revision classes, there are the prices also. Um, according to the plan, to the pamphlets, I don't know if they're going to put more prices, but then everything here is the summary. So you are welcome to email us if you want more information regarding this. But then other than that, um, that's it with uh, online tutoring that I was promoting right now for Simplified. I did that for my own benefits because I know I'm going to benefit something from it. But then also a lot of people are going to benefit from this out there because we need to pass. We, we don't just learn for learning itself because what's the point of learning if you can't pass? If you can pass. Hence, like I say, uh, our facilitators going forward, because I, I think I skipped one point there. Our facilitators, they are trained to can deliver learning based on how your understanding might be. You understand? Because you might understand things differently. So if you feel like uh, statistics should be delivered based on the steps that you've been once familiar with, for instance, I can... I can know soccer and the next person can know how to cook. And if I can teach you statistics, that's what I'm trying to think they're trying to say here. If I can teach you statistics on different forms, but then you both get to uh, to be able to answer the same question, that is an achievement. So uh, imagine a tutoring class that gives you tutoring in your own preferred way. That's it. I'm going to put the ad, like I said, I'm done with the promo with the ad, uh, with the um, advertisement, the, the ad, or whatever I was promoting right now. So now, uh, where 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 did we start with our other schools? Midland. We done with Midland. We done with Midland. But we done with this. Okay, tutorial entirely in the world. What do you think of it? Tutorial. Yeah, like t- tutorial, but the, the, those private extra classes after the one because. Yeah, I even, I also had a tutor because I used to struggle, like, my maths is bad, even till today. Like, God is just leading me through the way. My higher power is just, like, but, like, I used to struggle at maths, so I had to get, my mother found me a tutor somewhere out there, and then he helped me, like, because sometimes one-on-one tutoring is for, better. For real? I'm serious. A pre- so, it was a home tutor. It was, I went he to, had, I had, to go there school, or you had to come to him? After school. I had to mission to where he stays, and oh. then I had to go there. But it was didn't, some didn't nerd. It was some he nerd. No, to... he didn't. Uh, he didn't try anything. It was some nerd who had some sort of a defect in terms of his mental stability. But he still I knew maths. I don't, like, I don't like this story <laughs> anymore. <laughs> still as a co-host, as a co-host, I'm like, hey, my co-host. No, but he was white. Like it wasn't like anything. It wasn't that deep. You could talk with him to low. Where is Amela? Because he stays with his mother. Like you could talk with. So his mother was cause cause. Have you watched Shameless? Yeah, which part yeah. is shameless? Shameless, there's an episode where Loop Galaga he goes to home to tell his girl 
And then while he's visiting her, her mom was Sheila. Do you remember Sheila? Sheila, that, that, that Sheila. Yeah, Sheila, yeah. So Sheila, she, she, had, she had a daughter, right? Yeah. So while, while Luke was doing this, they thought, go under the table and do some things. No, it wasn't that deep. Like, he was literally, he was just an innocent kind of man because when you who say, had his own problems. When, when, you say, when you say he was white and he was innocent, I'm thinking when I look at that situation of Sheila, Lip Kalaga, and that daughter. No, like it wasn't that. He, we just, he, my mom would pay him the money to pay meds. He just put me. So I'm just saying the main it's point not, of not this pr- whole thing. It's not thing, my to worry. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, like yo, uh, yeah. Futa was young. Like, so my mind also wasn't on those kind of vibes, but they're oh, not on those vibes but even now. Tutoring, tutoring now. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, like I'm saying that like the private, because you asked me how I feel about private tutoring. Yeah. It's helpful because sometimes people need that. You need to, because when you're sitting with the person next to you, you need to pay attention to what they're saying because they're going to ask you what is this, 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 this? So that kind of how it helped me. Although my maths, I didn't pass it like your distinction, but, but like it, it improved. It, it did improve. So private tutoring, I, I, I go for it, but some people have different st- styles of learning, but I believe that when you have one-on-one sessions compared to a, a whole class where you job way back, and sometimes and even you know, if you want to ask a question, it's easier. Ask a question. It's easier when it's one person or, cause, if if we present online, we can choose if we wanna put one person, or ten people, or fifteen people, or mm. hundred. So, obviously, if you put hundred people, it would be more cheaper, because if you are to ask questions, they can hardly answer your question. Mm. So your chances of your questions being answer is statistically selected but then also if it's 100 people on zoom on zoom meeting or on teams or any platform where it's presented online people anyway they are scared to present themselves whether it's physically or by the voice like yeah. we, we have we have different levels of insecurity issues but also meeting people Joe, we have introvert we just don't want to meet anyone yeah but if you need help especially i feel like even you have to humble yourself if you need help i was doing a still recording yeah if you need help like in any aspect that you need help and you know that it's gonna benefit you at the end of the day because your parents like you're saying want you to pass school you're paying 5k whatever yeah you're going to obviously humble yourself and accept the help that you're getting even though it makes you feel ashamed that private tutoring like it's gonna make me look like i'm a dumb cop or i don't know how to think or whatever because but you 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 need to have that you know because yeah i understand because most people in terms of other certificates that are offered to skills development for people who are working already at the, w- at the working environment mm. they never go to those because cl- that the, the class could be handed could be rendered in cape town and people all over the country or worldwide are watching that thing on zoom but as you grow old you get to you get to learn your confidence of wha- of how to want to express yourself yeah. of which brings me to a point where it would be fair to can say uh, let me just email these guys and check how much would they charge me if my child wants to be concentrated to alone. I don't want my child to be mixed with any other child because my child is suffering from because we have a lot of other other, other factors. Yeah. So uh, in final conclusion, with it's no longer a promo. This one I'm just saying it out there. Maybe it would be wise to can check with um, simplified as a group because. Uh, as much as we, they, they are just we everyone we're just starting this we're trying to see how much can we reach out so it would be fair to can say uh my child is a special child but they are doing this i want this and whatsoever and then we, and then there's going to be quotation sense like that because as much as it is about the money it's not entirely about the money mm. but we need money to, for the world to rotate hence the the, the the facilitators needs to eat and the whole thing needs to keep going and Otherwise, we'll have to take jobs and not have time to do the whole thing. So I'd like to say to anyone out there, if you think you feel you need our services, as simplified, you think your child might need special attention, you think your child might be slow, we have so much patient uh, accredited subject matter aspects who are willing to give out knowledge out there in the name of the channel that we just started, Simplified Channel. Is there anything you want to say? nothing but thank you for watching till yeah so far. and for today i think we're gonna end it here please subscribe like and help us to keep going 
and so comment rich. and, and comment, comment like yeah. how say how something you, yeah say something how you want us to improve if, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know we're more than open cuz 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 uh the early days are still the days where we're trying to like find our feet but then we're going to get there at the end of the day as broadcasters we put it there uh please watch also the educational the um, first the first the first episode it does well if you can if watch you the first to if you can watch the first episode but the, the most important one is the videos where you can learn something because uh online now on the very same um, simplified channel we will have like certain videos which are being yeah mathematics statistics financial whatever i think there's going to be more and more accounting whatever 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 coming so just keep um if you feel you're an academy valley you, you feel you're gonna need this just subscribe also um hit the reminder button so every time a new video is uploaded you will know if Get it's related that. to your subject or not otherwise uh for me thank you, so thank you. Bye. Bye. thank you okay <coughs> i think i felt like i was